Good morning everybody, it's nice and bright and sort of dark and dingy like it was last night. It is Thursday and I am heading off all by myself, which really happens lately, to have a me day of op shopping and I don't know, all sorts of things. But I just want to quickly show you the jumper I got yesterday, the cardigan I got yesterday because I couldn't see it very well. Look at the prettiness of that. That's the one I showed you just before the dark but it's just a beautiful jumper um made probably in hong kong a lot of them were made in hong kong back in the day i actually don't recognize that label they usually have often have um hong kong labels on it but this one hasn't got it's been cut off but it is lamb's wool 100 percent, 90 percent. i can't see uh so yeah so i don't know maybe keep it because i don't they're so hard to find and it looked really nice when i had my vintage shop one day and i'm going on a theme <laughs> so we'll see but i'm going to share with you later if I get anything, um, I'll try and do each shot if I can. I am loving this phone holder, guys. If you want one, let me know and I'll send you the link to the eBay store. Um, I could do an affiliate, but I don't know. I can't bother doing that right now. But yeah, if they're only $16. This is awesome if you want to find a really good phone holder when you're talking and driving at the same time. Anyway, I'm going to go focus on my driving. I can't tell you anything exciting or anything dramatic that's happened. Thank goodness. Let's hope it stays that way. I have left the biggest mess. Well, I haven't. The bus isn't the biggest mess because I'm always in there. I'm always washing up, tidying up, all that sort of stuff, sweeping, getting the laundry. My husband's good at this stuff too. But I do that extra, go the extra mile. Um, oh, I know they're not coming in here. Um, so, yeah, I've left it. It's a pigsty. And I said to him, I'm not coming home till it's tidy. <laughs> Let's see. All right, I'll see you soon. Before I get too far, I might not be going home if they can't tidy it. I'll ring them up first. But it's 9.16. I just want to let you know what time it is now as I'm leaving. Go crossings, and then I'll tell you what time it is when I get um, home, probably, and I'll show you things that I get on the way. Hopefully, if I do, which I am. I told the fairies today they're going to have to help give me a, give me some love today. They've been a bit bit mean and a bit tight with their stuff lately, so yeah, let's go. So I went to one op shop in Austinville. It was a dud because I couldn't get park at my favourite one. So I came back to my favourite one. I got a dicky park, but okay. Like the trees are just there and they went scraping down my car but that's okay it's my car okay i got some jewelry and i can't show you right now because i've got to get to the next i don't think i'm going to find much exciting stuff the last lot was real a bit of a dud this might have a couple of pieces in it i don't know but i might share that with you after if i get time so i got that for 50 cents and i also got these little glass prisms they're all glass for 50 cents and i love I'm a real Pollyanna fan, you know, the glass prism thingy and be glad about everything. So I got a heap of those that she got for 50 cents. So I'll hang them somewhere in my future house or maybe in the bus. I also got this lovely, now I know I'm not supposed to be buying tea sets anymore, but sometimes you just got to get them, especially when they're only $2 for this beautiful tea set. And it came with the plate and the saucer and it's made in Japan. So, you know, it's old vintage retro 60s 70s something like that maybe 50s so i got that which is all, so i was really happy with that and this has been sitting um since the fate we had a few weeks ago someone had left it on the desk and i said if they don't come back for it put my name on it and the last few times i've been there i've forgotten to ask about it and my name's still on it so i end up getting this hustle box it's um card games and i have done a quick look oh, it's only three dollars i've done a quick look a few weeks ago and it was worth getting i can't remember how much it was was it worth getting i don't know i'll show you up here if it was worth getting i can't remember but i got these for three dollars too i'm a bit of a monopoly nut um i always check them to make sure they've got all the pieces in there like as in the little um metal icony you know thingies i'm talking about <laughs> you know what i'm talking about i always get that for that reason it's cost me three dollars i have not actually seen this one i have done, didn't do any comps on it because like i said i'm a bit of a monopoly nut and i will buy it anyway and i also got this to go with the rest of my mr men gear i want to do a big i've got a, a sheet mr men sheet i think it's a sheet uh, mr men cups and mr men books so i'll probably do a big up big pile up of those i don't know if all the pieces there it looks pretty good mostly good so yeah for those who like to collect mr men they'll probably like that as well so now i'm not going to even go to um vinnie's here because it's always it's very sterile i don't like sterile that's what it is i don't like sterile op shops and i don't like op shops that look like department stores because if i wanted to go to a department store which i hate going to i would go to one a brand new one because vinnie's prices are pretty similar anyway so i'm going to head down to ballina now and see what i can find down there maybe go to the tip shop 
not a big fan anymore I'm really disappointed with the tip shot the prices have gone crazy and the stuff isn't so great but we never know we might see something good so i'll see you in a minute bye I am so not happy with the tip shop anymore. I have not got anything for so long out of there that's any, anything worth. It's just nothing and it's too expensive. And I am, um, of course, someone's pulled up beside me. But anyway, I'm going to continue. I, I took a big gulp and deep breath of air. It's in take. I went to the shopping centre. If anyone knows me well, I do not do shopping centres. My husband does the groceries and, my, and I always send my kids in to get whatever they need. I avoid the place like the plague I do not like it they've got a TK I think TK max here now and I went in there I, I can't I can't do it I can't do all, the, all all that stuff the kids love it they'll go in there they can buy what they want but I'm not going to be there with them but I did go and get something done for my great my son which I keep putting off my and I've got something for me my granddaughter ages ago back in February got me um, a bracelet that was too big for me so I ended up getting a gift voucher and only today I finally got something I've got some silver earrings brand new silver earrings you know I like to buy second hand but it's special from her um, because I wear gold a lot but I often wear silver necklaces so I've got silver earrings to wear but I also had my son's watch engraved now this is well it's a couple of hours later <sighs> The, oh, the tip shop is a fizzer lately. I cannot get anything good there. I've given up. If I could do a break for a month or two, I don't know, but I haven't got anything any good there for ages. And when I have got a few little bits, they charge so much for them. And then I I took a deep breath and made myself go into a shopping center. And I hate, hate, hate shopping centers. I never go to them. My husband does a grocery shopping and my grandkids go and get anything that they need from the woolies and stuff like that. I hate them so much, but I made myself go because I had to get my grandson um, his watch engraved. He, no, sorry, sorry, not my grandson, my son, my second son, eldest, my second, my youngest son. Yeah, he's 20, 28 soon, end of the year. So I got a uh, watch engraved for him. And my granddaughter back in um, February bought me a bracelet as a gift, Mother's Day or something. I don't know what she got it for. And I didn't fit me, it was huge. And I didn't have an in-between, so I ended up getting a voucher and I got myself some silver, sterling silver earrings and studs today with watch with my voucher. Yes, I bought something new. It is a rarity for me. Even jewellery, it's a very rarity. I mean, I've got some silver cleaning stuff on my jewellery that I pick up. So I went, tried to go to one-op shop just before, but there's never any parking around it. And I was actually going to do this. Hang on for a second. Hang on for a second. I dubbed thee the Boomer Queen. <laughs> actually, one of my... um. Uh, I'll tell you when I get a car I'll tell you what I'm calling it but I, one of my email addresses is the vintage queen <laughs> so I just went to this op shop I only paid a dollar for it. it had a plastic one and this one in it this is actually a bridal one it was still sealed still got the box and it's still got well, the old price has been scraped off but it was still tied down but I got it for me for a dollar I'm not going to wear it around the streets it's going to go in my costume box but I also got these naughty books and I'll keep collecting these while I can these go up and down in value as in people want them and then they don't and then they want them again I think they're still doing okay naughty books they're hard to find but these only cost me 50 cents each so they were for a book exchange originally by the looks of it but the op shop sold them for me 50 cents each so I grabbed them because some op shops are mean and they charge too much but I'm going to take myself and my crown and see if I can find at least one maybe two more op shops I might even I may even go to Vinnie's just to just just in case just in case there's something there but otherwise I'm not doing great but I'm going to strip my bus very soon and you'll see that adventure very soon as well so stay tuned see what happens next I just want to do a quick reminder while I remember before I take off don't forget I've got my shirt on don't forget there's a giveaway I've got three shirts three shirts you can pick from so I've got to put boomer in the comments Sunday I'll get it drawn. I think only one person's put Boomer in. So far maybe two or maybe three. I don't know. But put Boomer in the comments. Even if you don't say anything else, put Boomer in the comments to go in the drawer for one of my teas. Okay, that's it. See you soon. Hi everybody. I'm back in town. It's three o'clock and I did not get anything else. There was nothing. I went. I even lowered my standards and went to Vinnie's and got a shock when I saw a $40, $45 tag on a, a blouse, a top because it had an original tag, I didn't even look what the original tag is, but walked around very quickly after that, had a look at everything, and there was nothing there, so I don't think Vinny's is, not in this area that I live in, will be one that I'll be going to very often anymore, 
each week. I'm not going to do it. Um, so yeah, I didn't get anything else other than my crown that you saw me in before. I went to a beautician before and they asked about skincare to treat myself. So she gave me some samples. Um, I debated having my hair colour done. What do you think? Should I keep going grey? I've let it go grey. It'll be four years on the 29th of June. I have grown my greys out. I think I don't mind the grey so much. I don't like the length, so I've got to grow that out as well to be back to my normal self. But yeah, I was going to do give my. I've got to give myself a treat day sometime. Get my nails done and my face done, and you know all those things that us girls and guys like to have done. But anyway, I'm going to go home shortly. I'm going to ring the bank first to see if we can get any type of loan for a bland or something, just to have a base. But I'm going to go home shortly, and I'm going to be taking photos of everything I got yesterday and everything I got today. Because I only listed one item last night. That was it, one item. And that's terrible. I always list at least 10 to 12 items a day. And I only had one in my backup store. And I didn't I didn't unlist anything. Like I usually unlist things and relist them. And relist them. Root sell similar. But I was too tired to do that last night. So tomorrow is going to be a big day. It's all packing all the stuff I've sold. That I brought back from the shed yesterday. But yesterday afternoon. And today I've sold a heap of stuff. So anyway, I'll let you know tomorrow whether we're going to be still here next week or whether we're going to be back over near the shed. I'll let you know that. So thanks for watching so far. I did go to also when I went to the shopping centre, which I told you about, I went to that TJ, TK, TJ, the TK Max place. It's horrific, guys. If you like brand new stuff, my kids love it. It's great. You get really great discounts on things, but nothing nothing out there no shops out there will ever ever take over my love of shops and finding things for really good money so anyway i'll see you in a minute tomorrow in a minute for me no tomorrow for me in a minute for you so thanks for watching so far see ya good morning everybody it is friday and it is 9 53 because i slept in because i had a bad headache last night and really bad reflux so i slept in which is very unusual for me so i'm up and about and i am in my room and most of you know who I live in a bus with my family and dogs and cats and birds. And... So I'm in here because I am picking, I actually cheated the other day. I picked up some stuff, I picked some stuff out of my room already. But I've got a lot more to pick here. I know what I'm going to pick. I'm picking one of those books that I'll never get to read. But I've already picked some stuff. I cheated. I picked a heap of stuff. And I'm going to take this outside and start listing it today because the op shops are being mean. But I also found something that I got last year for free, which is this knife. Now, if you come, come across any old pocket knives, they sell well. I've done it before. This one needs its parts re-gluing. There's nothing else wrong with it. Now, I got it free from my free vintage haul last year. It was attached to a heap of um, fishing gear. So all i got to do is find some glue and re-glue that. And it's got the stamp of it. And I can't remember what the stamp is, but I'll let you know later. And I sold one from the free haul last year for good money as well. So keep an eye out for old, those sort of old pocket watch type things because they do sell well. Collectors love to buy them. I'm going outside now. You can come with me and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing out there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day today. Beautiful. Anyway, I was going to walk over, over this lot, but I think it's a little bit too awkward and heavy. So I'm going to drive over there. But um, I was just letting you know. I'll just show you where that bus is. I love it here use the towels and stuff but what I love about this is the fact I've got grass this is grass under my feet and they get in and out of the bus yes we pick up all the rubbish don't worry but we are only here till Monday found out yesterday that on Monday we have to go back to Grafton which we'll get used to but we're going to be stuck under trees and in the dirt so I'm going to get everyone enjoying the beach days being here as long as they can for the next three days and yeah so I'm gonna head over that way okay I packed everything on the back of my car last night and uh, we're gonna head over and do that and hopefully go to the op shops on the way back. before I even get to go to the post office I must do this they were trying to put it on the little car <laughs> and I've got to take the surfboard down to the beach with the other surfboard is already in the other car isn't it where's the other two surfboard Hunter's just going. Oh, it's just Hunter going. Okay, so I'm taking the boy down to the surfing. Yeah. Why aren't you walking? Because they're going half tide. Oh, okay. I've got to go the other direction. All right. This, my friends, is how I am a full time reseller. And I can do it. If I can do it, anyone can do it. If I can do it in a bus, if I can do it with interruptions, 
I'm about to give someone else a lift downtown. I can do it with all that. Anyone can be a full-time reseller, just like, or even a semi-reseller, just like me. Because there's no excuse if you really want to do it. Let's get to the post office eventually and to the op shops eventually, shall we? $137.32 later. It's not even my biggest one. My biggest one's been $187 at one go, but it would have been bigger, but I had half the stuff not packed last week. It would have been over $200 in postage. I'm so grateful that everyone pays their own postage. So I've got a pie, you know, it's a thing that us resellers do, it's quick and easy and I always test my pies by pepper pies. I'll let you know how this one is. I had one here before, it wasn't really crash hot on it. I had a Brumbies pie yesterday, that was really good. Um, but we'll try this one because I'm desperate. Because my grandson who was supposed to go buy me some Scotch finger biscuits to have with my cup of tea in the morning, he's either didn't get them or he's hidden them so well that I cannot find them. So I am hungry and I'm thirsty. And I'm about to go to the two op shops that we have here in a minute. I'm going to sit here and eat my pie first. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll let you know how it is. But let's hope that oh, I'm going to get money out. Let's hope that, um, yeah, I find something today. I'm going to go home shortly and start. I'll share with you what I've got out of my room so far. And I'll pop them down on the grass or something. And I'll start taking photos of those to move. I've had a pretty good week, actually. It's every second week I have a good one. Every second week, the other week it's a really bad one so it's been a pretty good one this week so you'll know all about that on Wednesday I'll see you soon I'm actually grieving this time I really don't want to leave the area look at this this is why this is, my kids are probably down there surfing right now in the water so I know they went down there but this is, this is Evans Head this is the beach it's just absolutely beautiful and this is only just one of the beaches and a few others but I thought you know what you guys haven't seen how pretty this is. Ballina's way down there, way down that way. It's just so pretty around here. This is the um this is the um lookout. They spent thousands of dollars on not long back. I thought I thought I could show you this before I go home and start listing. Isn't it pretty though? Have you been here? I know Mary's been here, I don't know who else has been here, but it's so beautiful. It's such a glorious day. Okay. Hope you enjoyed that little video of the ocean. You won't believe it. I just went to the op shop. Nothing, nothing much, right? But oh, I found another one. You can't believe it. Look, it's another Mambo Smart Arts shirt. That's two yesterday and today. I found one in both days. They're not fancy. They're not the Mambo I'm after. Everyone else is finding the Mambo I'm after, but I know. I know I'm putting it out there that I'm going to find a whole heap of them in one little op shop somewhere. I'm going to find about five of them for a couple of dollars each. One day I'm going to do that. But yeah, I got another Mambo and I will probably, I don't know what I'll post him up for. Maybe about $80. I don't know. But we'll have a quick look and see. The one that I had yesterday, I've already listed it. I can't remember what I listed it for, but I didn't list it as high as some of the other ones were. So hopefully that will go. Now, my thing is now I'm psyching myself up. No one's home, I don't think. And if they are, there's not many. I hope there's no one home. I'm psyching myself up to get into this bag of stuff in the back. So I'm going to probably do that. It's just cold outside. It's a beautiful day, but it's this cold, little cold breeze blowing. So I want to stay in the car. I've got to also finish doing my tracking. Now, on some receipts, some places I go to, they give you all the tracking little, these little things on for each one. But apparently, not, they're not supposed to, but some do that. Some come through. This only gives you the three, so I'm having to do all this manually. Because I'm still old school, I haven't got all that fancy printing stuff out, it does it for me. So, I will sit here and do that first, because I'm really finished. And the pie was okay, it wasn't too bad, I think I was just super hungry. So, it went down well, didn't taste too yucky. All right, I'll see you, see you shortly, hopefully. Okay, I'm home. And I just want to show you, this is some of the stuff I pulled out of the bags. So I'm going to talk you through it, and then I'm going to leave the video for then, and I'm going to do hopefully something for Saturday, Sunday for you to see on Monday. Hopefully I'll find some stuff. But, okay, I'm going to go through a few things now. Hankies. Hankies are well worth looking at. Especially this, you know, any of the older style ones, the lace ones, the linen ones. Um, these are two cotton flora ones that I'm going to try and list up there. People buy them for crafts or they'll just buy them, I don't know, because they're pretty. And the hankies are sort of not as popular as they used to be, but the collectors will still grab them. I've done well with hankies in the past. 
I've got these two that I've had for ages. This, this all, most of this stuff came out of my bedroom area, and I've still got so much more because I'm a hoarder. I'm a bowerbird. I cannot help it, but that's what I do. But I'm not scared to resell things either. I'm not completely a hoarder. But these two are, have to be tested. AWA portable um, cassette player. That's a cassette player. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, they're both cassette players. So this one's actually got a cassette still in it. So I'll get my husband to check those later and see how well they work. I said that's a Panasonic. Those sort of things go well. They usually take batteries, I believe. So that's good. This Twizlow, don't know much about it. Cannot find any of these at all on the internet. This is from the free. I'm pretty sure it was from the free haul. Was it? I don't know. Not the free haul. I think I paid a heap of stuff. I paid money for some stuff and I got a lot of stuff for free. And I think this might have been in the section where I had to pay. But it, you can see the bit of rust on it. There are like, um, hang on, I'll try and see if I can get it. They've got this. So I think you've got to supposed to do these, these thing, this thing here to match this. So it's a lot of like those little hand puzzles a lot of us boomers did as kids and the plastic, in one of the plastic tiles. I think it's similar to that. So I don't, haven't come up finding information. It comes in a little leather, little leather bag. Um, past the pigs, I've had for ages because I was going to play with the kids, and it's not going to happen. So past the pigs is a good game, apparently. Believe it or not, you know I'm not selling i, um, I'm not selling these plugs. But oftentimes these in the iPhone boxes will sell. I don't know if I'll, I'll see. I'm going to Google to see if that goes for anything at all. Google, check on eBay. But a lot of these boxes sell because people sell secondhand ones and they want the box to go with it. So I'll see. Got a little key ring there. These Tic Tacs were given to us when we were living in Worm Ballina. These are all out of date, but they still taste fine. But believe it or not, these sort of things sell as well. Now, I've had one up for a while. I think it's taken off now, but I might try and sell it. So we can sell a four packs. People that collect weird and wonderful things. So I will try and sell those um, as a bundle there. Okay, I've got this beautiful leather belt I picked up last week. and It was inside. I think I'm going to... No, it doesn't look too bad. It looked a bit like, yeah, a little bit sort of washed out at this end. I might go inside and give it a polish because we've got polish, leather polish. Another thing you can look out for too is really nice um, old perfume bottles. I don't know if this one's going to be much good. I don't know the brand, but I'll have a look at it. But keep an eye out for all those sort of old and empty bottles, especially if you can get the really good brands like um, Chanel Number no. 5 and stuff like that. People will buy the old perfume bottles. I've still got this the rest of my blanket. If you saw this, I've already sold half of the patches. These ones I finished cutting up a couple of weeks ago. I haven't listed them. This is all inside my room. Um, so I've already cut them up. So I'm going to probably divide them into two lots and sell them for another $60 uh, all up. I've already sold the other ones around $30, so I made a really good profit. The blanket only cost me $10. Um, these two, possibly, I think they're fake. <laughs> I'm going to put them on probably my Facebook page and sell them off probably what I pay for them just to get rid of them they're really pretty still it's a love ring um, this depression glass vase type thing can't remember where I got it I haven't actually haven't done it what you're supposed to do is you put a, a black light under it and it will glow if it's got uranium in it and this sort of green glass stuff is very very popular it sells really well I've got some little frogs in there I don't know what I'm going to do with them I don't even know why I bought them but anyway if I did this I picked up at a garage sale it is pre-worn but as a prop someone would buy it it's probably from the you know early to mid 1900s um, it's very cool I like it it's pretty well damaged though but someone will buy it as a prop I've got some beads especially my jewelry box I've got a box of jewelry up there I haven't even started listing and I've got all this jewelry here as well so that's that in the box upstairs little knickknacks like something from the 70s people like these sort of things i'll probably put i won't put on ebay it's just not worth the it's not worth it but this fella i'll probably put on ebay people like these ugly mug type things he's pretty cool i was going to keep him but you know what i need a car more than that um it's made by egg carton in australia it's a company so that's some of the things i'm going to i'm going to list guys and oh these i was going to show you these old handbags now there's something special on these ones these one this one and this one this one's not done yet these have got secrets in it and i'm actually going to sell them on my probably on facebook maybe i'll sell them on ebay too but i'm going to try on facebook first these are full of memories these are like 
mystery bags vintage mystery bags inside it you will find different little memories and I thought it'd be a really cool way to sell things I've also got some bottles ready to go sometime soon and I will share them with you later on probably but they're mystery bags in here I am not going to show you what's inside I'm actually going to put some more stuff in them and so when whoever buys them opens it they're going to find all these little little, little nice surprise back packages in there I'm going to do that now oh, I'm going to get up Ugh. and this is the other box now this is my office this is where I packed everything last night. I had to take all this was out. It looked I left out the night before. Um, so I, just, I packed everything that I had that I took to the post office before and I did it all in here. This is my one of my offices. This is my main office, I think, my car. Um, this is all the jewellery I have to get list. Most of that. It's not the bag. I've got to fill up. Um, I've got some more postcards here, which I haven't even started to list. I've had these for ages as well. Where I got them. I don't know. What are they? 1950s ones. Yeah, ones from the 1950s. So, little sort of funny ones that probably wouldn't get away with, you know, all of us softies these days. So, yeah, we'll, we'll probably list those somewhere on Facebook now. Why am I doing it? Because I want a car. So, every week I sell something and I get my money I'm going to try and put at least 100 away for my car that way I can get my car and not go into debt and buying a car because I want to stay out of debt as much as I can that's my job at the moment yesterday I spent a bit of time trying to find out what bank to use for the business which I'm going to do this year because this last previous year which is nearly a year guys I've been doing this full-time prop well, it's been over I've been doing it full-time full-time legally as a proper business has been nearly a year at the end of this month first of July will be a year and I have always used my I've got my Commonwealth Bank account with my main account and I've got all these other little accounts under it and one of those little other accounts can you even see me one of those other little accounts is um, for the business and I've got to constantly transfer money over so what I'm going to do is I'm looking for a bank and I think it's going to be the bank or back in the Commonwealth Bank um, to have my business account and probably not a visa card probably a debit card because i don't want to be in debt at all um that's one of the big things i've spent the last year and this year last year and this year getting out of debt and i only owe a little bit of money left on one of my shop cards my buyer's edge card that i've had for years um compared to what i had last year which was lots of loans and they're all gone now by that so except for our house which is not a loan you know not an not a debt it's an investment <laughs> um everything else is paid off so that's my goal so Everything that you see today and everything I list from now on, $100 a week of that will be going towards um, my car. So, my car, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. That's It's Friday. Friday, as you know, it's done and dusted. I'm going to edit to this video so I can release it so you can see all my adventures of this past week. And I'll try and get some videos done Saturday, Sunday, and Monday and probably release something Monday if I find some good stuff over the weekend if it's any garage sales or anything exciting happens. All right, I hope you enjoyed this sort of video, the, the week in the life of, <laughs> the crazy boomer. But anyway, take care everybody and thanks for watching and don't forget, like, comment, subscribe and do not forget the shirts. I've only got till Sunday. I will, actually, I'm going to release them Monday. I'm going to, I'm going to draw up Monday the shirts because I don't usually do a video Sundays. So Monday I'm going to release... I'm going to draw the person that wins the shirt. You've got to write Boomer down below. If you haven't done it yet, please do it. Because I want you guys to try and win one of the shirts. Take care, everybody. I will see you soon. Bye.